Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between the skyscraper Stefan Struve and Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. Representing Western Sydney in New South Wales, here is Ty Tuivasa, the heavyweight contender, has been all systems go since making his debut in the big show. This is a heavyweight force to be reckoned with, and as the skills start to catch up with the hunger and the desire, many believe Tuivasa could be a future UFC champion. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. Stefan Struve comes from a Dutch kickboxing background and has a towering reach advantage over most of his opponents. He's also an extremely effective submission artist and ends a lot of his fights by locking in a choke. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Struve is four years his senior. He is 10 inches taller. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record odds. Ten wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting. Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Tom Bam Bam Kuiva! And now we're coming to his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses. He stands 7 feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Beaver with the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Round one. All right, so here he is, Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. This is a knockout artist of the highest order, and even though the opposition seems to know what he's trying to do stylistically, nobody in the UFC has been able to stop him. He has been very durable. We saw that nasty knockout of Rashad Coulter, the leg kick right into the eventual knockdown. Tremendous stuff on the highlight reel already for the young man, Ty Tuivasa. Hard kick lands. Slightly deflected. Damaging strike there. Oh! Struve gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Establishing the jab here. That one hurt. Connects with a right. Continues to eat power shots here. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Going to the body there with the right kick. Nice right hand. Good job of avoiding the clinch, Joe. They're going after it quick here. Oh! Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Good shot. Really missed with that right hand. 
Oh, nice jab by Strew. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Wow. Pretty good jab there by Strew. Oh. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. Caught that one on the forearm. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Landed that overhand right flush. Strew gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Nice shot. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Tycoon Vasa gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. He pummels here, and now he's got double underhooks. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Tui Vasa gets caught with that punch. Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Strew. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. That knee might have landed there. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, big oh, to the head lands. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. The skyscraper trying to finish. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, continues to land those jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Vasa's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice hammer fist. And he winds up on top. Full side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Back to the feet now. 15 seconds. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Five hey, minutes hey, in the stop. books. And there's a nice head kick that lands. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. Definitely gonna want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. And he continues to effectively use his jab here, much like he did in the previous round, Joe. 
Nice punch by Tui Vasa. Good combination so far from both men. Got him clinched up against the fence. Good punch. He's got double underhooks. Strews able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Struggling for position in the clinch. Deep breath there and reset. How about that shin? Well, you gotta start to change things up here defensively. Again, he gets clipped to the head, and again, he's vulnerable by leaning right into his opponent's range. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Lands to the body there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. That knee might have landed there. And there comes the separation now. And he continues to work the body here. Constantly a moving target. Looking to avoid that left hand. Beautiful. Great combinations. I like the way he's Whoa. mixing these up. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Clean punch. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, another crisp jab lands flush. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance there. Strew gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. He got tagged with that uppercut. Oh, another one to the head by the skyscraper, Stefan Strew. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Tui Vasa. Oh, and he connects once again. There is no denying he is targeting that cut. Right back to the jab and snaps the head back yet again. Stefan Strew has gotten a lot of his wins by getting people on the ground, getting them in trouble, and the fight finish oftentimes comes shortly thereafter. Oh! oh. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Oh. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Tui Vas has got double underhooks. One underhook here. Hook in the clinch by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Oh, man, look at him now. Tying him up here in the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. And he's looking for that left. Kick to the body by Struve. that jab. Strew gets caught with that punch. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh! oh. He tagged him. He's hurt. He's down. What a fight so far. Oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh! 
Third round underway. Drew gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Drew gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. He lands an excellent combination. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Strew gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Great exchanges. And how about that shin? Leg kick now. He's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Strew. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. Blocks the shot to the body. Good body kick. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Well, he left his head open again there, Joe. He's gonna have to make some adjustments with his corner if we get to the next round. He continues to lean in and move into the strike of his opponent. Not a good look for him defensively here. Oh! Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Oh! This could be it! Man has his chin been tested in. Specifically, that right side has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, nice shot there on the inside. Drew gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Struggling to get the clinch. Well, he has really started. Wow! He's, he's hurt. Continuing to land and keep his opponent at distance. Hit him Beautiful hard with hook. that hook. Oh! This could be it right here. Beautiful hook. Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority.
so the fight goes the distance. We await the judge's decision here. I'm glad I'm not a judge, Joe. This is a fight that was close on paper. That is how it played out. It truly could go either way. Round three, look at the explosion in this flying knee, and it lands right on the money. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 28-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Stefan Skarsgård. All right, so there he is after what you could argue is the biggest win of his UFC career, and at least in terms of the performance, I think his skills have never looked better. And now I think you can start to picture him as a future contender type in this division. So.